Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tutorials, and in this video, we're going to continue the React for Everyone series by building our app component for our, our new application. So we have everything all set up. Now we're going to build the app component that's going to render into our DOM, and we're going to be using it as sort of a shell to drill down further into more components. So let's get going on that right now. Okay, so now that we have our setup pretty much done, let's get started building our app. If you remember, we had our webpack config file. Now, I actually had a typo. I had loader typed in here, despite uh, I may have said loaders. Uh, we need this to have an S here, or else this won't work. So make sure that webpack config line 10 says loaders. Loaders with an S at the end. Okay, cool. So now that we have loaders here, uh, you might want to restart your server. I'm not exactly sure if that makes a difference, but typically if I'm changing configuration stuff, I stop and start my server. You can stop by hitting control C and then restart by typing in that same uh, node modules forward slash dot bin webpack dev server command that we had before right here. You see highlighted on my screen. Okay, you should get a bundle is now valid and we should be able to see basically where we left off, a blank screen, no errors. Okay, so this is great, but let's go ahead and start writing our component. I'm gonna head to app.js and this app.js, we're actually gonna be writing in an ES2015 syntax or ES6 syntax instead of what we showed in the first couple of videos. So this is going to be a more modern way of doing things. And what we first need to do is import React. So we can say import React from, and then in quotes, React, and then finish it off with the semicolon. So notice how the first React is uppercase and the second React is a string and in lowercase. So we now should be able to have access to React and what we're actually gonna be using is react.component. So now to actually create our component before we used react.create class, now we're gonna be saying class and then class app extends and then react Notice how it's a capitalized React and then a capitalized component. Okay, now here we can have curly brackets like so. And inside of our component, if you remember, we have things like our render function. So we can say render. We can just do two parentheses and then two curly braces like that. And inside of here, let's just return an H1 that's going to just simply say contacts list. First, I'm going to have a div. And next I'll have a div inside of there. And inside of here we can say h1 contacts list. Now keep in mind, we're doing this sort of like a top-down approach to components. So we're gonna be passing information from one component to another through props like we showed in a couple of earlier videos. And it's really nice to think about your application as sort of a series of nested components. For instance, in a context list, you have your sort of whole application shell, which is what we're calling app here. Then you might necessarily have a list and then you will have a list item. Those can be separate components. And then think about it, we'll also probably wanna have a list form for adding new components. And maybe even something like a detailed item or something with details if you've selected a particular contact. So as you can see here through this new syntax, class app extends react.component. We are now using all of this information simply just to output a div with an H1 in it. And if you head to your terminal, you should see you're not getting any errors, okay? If you're getting any errors, then uh, there is a typo somewhere probably, okay? So let's actually head to our browser and you might expect an H1 to appear here, but not yet. We actually haven't really told this component to render anywhere. All we've done is simply define this component. So now at the bottom here, let's do a couple of things. If you remember from our index.html, we had an ID app on this empty div right here. We're gonna wanna remember that because what we need to do is tell react.render and then inside of this function, we'll be passing in our app 
and we can pass it in just like so. So now we're using this component. We're saying, hey, uh, React render the app component. And to determine where we're doing that, we need to do a document get element by ID, which is something that is very vanilla JavaScript. So we can say document dot get element by ID. And now we're going to put an app in quotes just here. So we're saying react render app, this app component, which exists right here. And we're going to say render it into get element by ID app. Okay, so let's head to our browser. And you can see upon refresh, we now have an H1 with the word contacts list here. So we have our app, which is the base component here. And soon we're going to be dropping in a component and then a component inside of a component and so on and so forth until we have a full on contacts list. So by now you should have this contacts list.html. If you don't check your code, let me bump it up a font size or two here just so you can make sure everything is exact. Here is the app.js. Here is index.html. And here is webpack config.js. Cool. So we're now ready to go. And in the next video, what we're going to be doing is building out our contacts list component, uh, which will further be drilling down to our actual contacts. So as always, this is Scott with Level Up Tutorials. If you have any questions or comments, if you comment the video, hit me up at Twitter or Facebook at Level Up Tutorials. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.